in uh, this experiment, we asked how quickly does it take for bacteria to evolve antibiotic resistance, and what are the different genetic changes that allow them to become antibiotic resistant. So what we did, we took the concept of a petri dish, a simple petri dish that we all know and like, except we sized it up enormously to four foot long, which is that plate that you see here, and we set it up in a way that challenged the bacteria to evolve antibiotic resistance. So on the edge there is no antibiotics, and first step is just about the amount of antibiotic needed to kill the bacteria, then 10 times more, 100 times more, and 1,000 times more antibiotic. And we're just going to put bacteria on the side and let them swim against this uh, challenge that they're facing and see what happens. What you're going to see is a time lapse uh, movie. You're going to see the bacteria uh, in here, they are going. They get uh, stuck on this interface. They want to go in because there's more food on the other side, but they can't until mutant arise. Mutants that are resistant to the antibiotic, these bacteria and the lineage can now penetrate to this uh, first step. They reach a the second boundary. You can see also mutation appearing on the other side. Now, secondary mutations appear, and these new lineages can now penetrate and go into 10 times more. Antibiotic, and the process continue now to the next interface where now the bacteria are going at 100 times more antibiotic than uh, they uh, started with. And finally, after just barely uh, 10 or 11 days of selection, the bacteria have become 1,000 times more resistant than uh, at the beginning. So, this video, what it does, it takes concepts like evolution, selection, mutation, and provide um, a very concrete visual way of uh, seeing this these uh, otherwise fairly vague and conceptual ideas.